What is happening guys, how we doing? Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Again, thank you so much for all the support we've had. Broke 100 subscribers this week, so that is awesome. Really hope you enjoyed today's video, um, where I take you through a, another border install that we've done. And yeah, like always, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below or send me a DM. Hope you enjoy, I'll catch you in the next one. Good morning. Today, this, <laughs> this girl's coming out. That didn't take long, did it? Um, and we are replacing her, so I'm gonna walk you through it. And uh, hopefully nothing else happens like that. Okay, first problem. <laughs> I don't know if I was in the wrong place because there's all this pipe work below it. Doesn't make any sense to me, but okay, that's fine. But also, it doesn't open. You can hear it draining at the moment. Um, and that's all we've got. So, I have to sort that out as well. Plan of the day I've got the roofer coming at one o'clock. So, I've got to try and get all this, the boiler, all the boiler off, new one on, all piped up. I'm going to try and basically match it up as best I can because obviously that's where the hole is in the roof. We'll take all the old flue out, new flashing kit in, new flue in from above, um, which I don't think myself, bloke my size on roofs, not for a good idea. So I've got a guy who I use um, called Martin. I will leave a link to his Facebook page below because he's brilliant at what he does. Um, it's just flat fee. He comes in, throws the flu, um, flues through roofs, exactly what it says in the tin. He'll come this afternoon um, and then I can connect up the flu. Obviously the challenge with all of these swapping old ones for new ones is the condens. Always the condens that's the headache. Um, so what we are doing is we're going to put a condens pump on the wall below which I'll walk you through as a separate thing. Um, and then we'll pump it up into the loft, run it over the loft and then there is the toilet. Um, and the stack, saw stack runs up through the loft. Um, so we will tee it in with a boss into that stack. So I'll set the time lapse up and uh, see how we get on. So from the top, before we even think about cutting into a gas line, always test it first. Too many times I've had it where you fill it up, at the end of the job, test your gas, you're ready to commission, tireless test fails, and you're like, right, okay, so the game begins. And you start trying to find your leak, find it's nothing to do with any of your pipe work, some fitting under a floor somewhere is gone. Always on my quotes, I always say, Connect to existing gas mains, subject to successful tightness test. Um, further works to be quoted as separately, something along those lines, for that exact reason. Because I don't want to get stung, the customer saying, no, 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 it was fine before. It's obviously something you've done. It's not, but then what do you do? And then you're, you know, you're stuck, aren't you? So always tighten this test first, and then tighten this again afterwards you've done. take long it'll save you a lot of headache in the long run um, we can see there I don't know if the camera will see that we're all good we're all good it's lost less than four millibar no smell of gas we're happy days so back upstairs start ripping around Quick tip when you're doing these, some people know it, some people don't. When you slide the top off the box, don't cut the straps off, just wiggle them off, they'll come off. Turn it back over, the straps back round, 
and he gives you a little bin, he says, in the strap down the stairs. Take the straps, turn it upside down, and it gives you a little bin, look. Ooh. And actually, the best thing to do on the bottom of the boiler. From the bottom of the boiler, and it actually perfectly fits inside the box, so it gives you a nice rigid bottom. And if you want to be extra smart, take the back from the top, lay it over, pre made bin. Okay, where we're at. So the boiler's hung and I've just piped up the gas. So I need to go and test that in a minute, but um, that's not the priority right now because Martin, the roofer has just called me um, to let me know he's half an hour away and <laughs> I ain't ready for him. Um, so what I need to do now is get up in the loft, get the old flue out um, and get my first piece in. Okay, there's the flue. 15 years. Every year it's been serviced, and not a single person has come up here to look and realise that there's not a single clip on it. It's screwed, so there's something, but not a single clip. 15 years, 15 services, and nobody's thought, hmm, that needs a clip. It's just bonkers. Okay. There goes my level. Turret's on, and the first piece is on. So, effectively, they've just got the bit to take out um, the old terminal. That will come out, and then it will be, they'll drop that through, and then I will cut in my little piece, screw it all up, and clip it. Um, and that's the flue done. So, I've got a little bit of, well, no, they said they'd be here any minute, so I'm just waiting for them to turn up now. Um, while I wait, I'm probably going to cut in my filter, which is pretty probably gonna go here um, I think that kind of makes sense to do it and I'll do it so it angles out here so it's out of the way as much as possible cool right filters in and up there fire returns are all piped up so she's ready to fill. I'm gonna start filling her in a minute. Before I do that, we're just gonna wire her up. So Sparky's actually given us a new spur because it was, was just run off the ring main. So I will sort out that section of it shortly. But for the meantime, I've got my five core here. So we've got permanent life, permanent neutral, earth, switch life, pump life. Um, I'll put up in a minute, I've got a little picture of basically where it came out of the old boiler. This one actually had a pump live, a lot of the old ones didn't, but this one did, so that's good, because it means it was all cabled up already. So I'm gonna use the same cable, put them into the same terminals, and then in the wiring center, I will change over the permit live onto that fuse spur, so it's all run off that on a three amp fuse. Just so that you can see on these, this is the RI range. Effectively, you've got a little 
cable entry hole there. And then it comes into one of these where you take the end off, put it through and that's your cable strain in there. So that little screw up there, that's your cable strain. Um, I don't know how much this you wouldn't be able to see, but on this side it says LP, NP. So that is your pump live and your pump neutral. And LR, your live return is your switch live. So that's what comes from the orange of the three port to give us our switch live. And then over here is our permanent live and permanent neutral. So I've got a, probably got enough slack on this, might have to trim some down. That's what we're gonna do now. Finished wiring up and then remembered condensed pump. So, did you forget everything I just told you? No, we are basically, it's got a override kill switch. So what we do is we take that live, the constant live, permanent live to the boiler that we've just put in, link it into one of those. And then the other side um, goes into where the permanent live was, along with the permanent live for the uh, condensate pump. What that does is that basically it means that if there's an issue with the pump um, and therefore can't get rid of any condensate, what it does is it kills the power to the boiler so it's not producing condensate and then uh, doesn't overflow. Seems like a good idea. Okay, update time. Whoever invented this stuff should really be shot. It is awful, it <laughs> gets everywhere. Right, flu is in um, and clipped. And also um, the condensate pump is in. Um, I don't know if you'll see that, but it's running up there, along there, into 21 and a half, and then down, and then it's bossed into the, uh, bossed into the source stack down there. Um, so yeah, we're getting there. Um, while I've been messing around with this, doing the pump, blah, 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 I've had my flush machine going. Um, so it's about that time. I take the flush machine off um, and uh, fire up once and for all. So fingers crossed she uh, fires up and gets hot first time. That'd be first, wouldn't it? Um, and then after that, it's just tidying up and then I'll show you the finished product. All done, all finished. Just got to walk through with the customer, how to use it and sign and uh, hand over the paperwork. And that's that. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy it, click the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe.